Hi, my name is JW, and this is another rant, rambling, sort of. I got into sort of a heated argument uh, on OFSEC IRC uh, the other day, talking about the Dirty Cow uh, Linux kernel zero day that was just recently uh, released. And basically, I was talking about whether or not someone should use that zero day in the uh, OFSEC exam or the OSCP exam to get potentially privilege escalation from local uh, shell to root and someone was basically uh, arguing to me that uh, the exam should mirror a real life pen test and why would you fault the IT team for not patching a zero day in a real life pen test and that sort of caught me off guard because pen testing is not about faulting anyone and their response was executives only read executive summary and they will see X out of Y systems compromised, and this will lead to people getting fired on, in IT. You should find another way to root and report that. That's a systemic problem in management, in my view. If they only read the summary and start making summary executions of people's careers in their organization. Uh, there's a difference between gross negligence of having domain admin on everyone's desktop and not patching a zero day. Um, if I get a local shell on a server and then I find a local zero day prevesc, I will use it. I will then explain that this and this step could have take could could have been taken to mitigate the way I got local access anyway. I mean, I shouldn't have local access. That's one of the points. There, there are mitigations, for example, GRSEC, SE Linux, and Emmet on Windows uh, to prevent local execution for some set of exploits. Not for everything, some set of. There are tripwires you can set up. For example, monitoring uh, the password files, monitoring when root logins, uh, monitoring all sorts of binary modification, whatever. So many things you can do and set up to know when the compromise happens, even if you cannot prevent it. So you could fast, more more rapidly respond to this uh, breach and fix it. Using the zero day in the again in the engagement will also solidify all of your hypothetical attack scenarios for phishing awareness and understanding of layered security practices. You shouldn't be relying on hey Red Hat will keep us safe. They will give us the update because you can't rely on the operating system. You can't rely on any single one facet of your security. You need onions, you need layers, and it also makes you cry. Is it fair to use a zero day in an engagement or the OSCP exam? I don't know about OSCP. The guys at Offensive Security might have their own notions, but in, in general, I think that anything that adver uh, adversaries have and can use is fair game. Whether or not people get fired due to the findings of a pen test is up to the management, ultimately. It's not the pen tester's job to sugarcoat findings. Zero days happen. Some of them are local privesque. Uh, some of them are remote code execution. Think about shell shock. Was it people's, was it IT's fault that Bash had a wide, amazingly wide security breach or uh, exploit for it for many years and it was widespread was it IT's fault no it was it it happens like accidents happen you can't fault IT for it uh if you still are shell shock vulnerable right now like a year or two later then it might be worth of getting fired depends on the situation i'm not saying i'm not firing anyone just saying that there's a difference between firing over a zero day and firing over a year old vulnerability. Not using them if you find one seems like a wasted opportunity to under underline how volatile our notions of secure are. Not to blame, not to blame IT, not to blame anyone doing this or securing their stuff, but to educate. Thank you.